at the electrical colony Nagarjan and we are waiting for engineer Akito and he will also be joining us this evening so engineer Akito is finally here and so we will move towards Purna Bazar now <music> towards uh, Purna Bazar especially to attend a badminton tournament and me and my friend Kuto we are moving towards the badminton tournament and especially we are accompanying uh, Mr. Joseph who is the special guest for the tournament so we are heading towards the church road right now we can see the banner here badminton tournament is Dimapur Open Amateur Badminton Tournament Start our program. So to invo invoke God's presence in our midst, I would like to give a time to Dr. Katay Kimi Pastor, the Granny Pater, St. Baptist Church. We hope and pray that your presence will be in our midst and this very special hour to be a blessed one. I offer this prayer in Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless.
state my case, of which I am certain. I've lived a life that's full. I've traveled each and every highway, but more, much more than this. Now I would like to give a time to our friend Kikavi Jumomi, VP of FTBC. Sir, please come and take your time. Good evening to you all. I take this opportunity to introduce our guest of honor for this evening. And I would also like to extend my heartfelt gratitude for being with us tonight. Our guest of honor, as you all know, is none other than Mr. Joseph Sumi, Inspector, Nagaland Police. And as you, as you can all see in the program, there are so many achievements that he has achieved. And just to name some few, he's a 15 times uh, state champion, 10 times Nordisk single champion, 5 times Nordisk double champion, and so on. If, we, if I keep on mentioning all these achievements, it will take a long time, so I'll just cut it short here. And I, on behalf of the Touch Badminton Club, would like to acknowledge our chief guest with a small token of our appreciation. Individually, as I call out your name, to kindly stand and also receive a small token of appreciation on behalf of Heritage Pavilion Club. Engineer Akito Muru, E. Dimapur, Power Department. <clears throat> Mr. Raju Chetri, State Player, <clears throat> representing Nagaland. Mr. Supong Longchar, lecturer, Northeast Christian University. <laughs> Mr. Kuto Chopi, he is a businessman. <laughs> Mr. Kahobi Aumi, CBO Power Department. <laughs> Mr. Chumia. He's the nephew of our guest of honor. <laughs> Last but not the least, Mr. Robert. He's a YouTuber. The best is reserved for the last. Not forgetting, engineer Ichirong Zilang. He is a YouTuber of the of Thank you so much. And we really appreciate and we are very grateful for your presence with us tonight. Thank you so much. I am so grateful and privileged. First of all, I want to give thanks to the Lord for this wonderful evening and uh, wonderful people here. Uh, with all His blessings, we wouldn't have been here together. So I am really thankful to our Almighty God, Mr. Chairman, our uh, Pastor, Mr. Yakuto Shohe, Sumi Bhutesh Akuko Nahar Mari. Then uh, President and uh, Vice President members of the Feather Touch Badminton Club. Touch Badminton Club. 
and uh, you have uh, a wonderful stadium here. Uh, I would recall during our time, though, we actually didn't have even a single court facility. But nowadays, you all have this wonderful stadium. Every nooks and corner, you will find badminton stadium, and uh, most of the players, though it will be kids, young, old, na, they can play. They are shifting into badminton. Badminton is such a wonderful game where you will find your friends, you will get to know your friends and other people from all around the corner. So that is the best thing about badminton. So you should all be proud that you have taken up badminton as a, your this time, uh, this thing for your health reason or the kids who are behind, they might take this as their career also. So I would encourage them to take up this time. If, if only we sacrifice ourselves, I just wanted to advise our young, young players to sacrifice yourself, okay? The achievement that I have here is I have sacrificed like anything okay I have sacrificed like anything it is it is not just by chance you have to you have to sacrifice like anything you have to discipline yourself uh, you have to dedicate yourself uh, you have to determination your determination has to be like unless and until it is achieved you will have to why for that so I want to encourage our youngsters to sacrifice, to play the game with full dedication, with full determination. You have to set a goal, okay? Without, without your goal, you won't be anywhere, okay? So you have to set a particular goal. And unless and until it is achieved, you have to why for that. Good evening all. A warm and gra graceful evening to our most honorable guests. Sri Joseph Sumi and our esteemed guest. I extend my sincere thanks to our Almighty God for making today's event a resounding success. May God bless you all and everyone for your abundant life. Thank you. At the Hippo News Kiona, Agaboji Liba, welcome to the Pictillore, Jesus Jalana Ablono, to Kamani Kulvani. Amen. Uh, with me, we have the Vice President of Feather Touch Badminton Club. And so, uh, can you please tell us something about this tournament? This tournament is organized by the Feather Touch Badminton Club for two days, that is 27 and 28. It's been organized to promote young talents, to bond friendship, and to promote badminton at the grassroots level. So, do you have any plan to organize big badminton event in the near future? If God's willing and uh, time and uh, opportunity promotes, why not? We have plans uh, since this is just uh, this is our first major tournament that we have organized. So we kept it small, but if uh, opportunity promotes, we we'll definitely why not? Why we are we will plan to organize it uh, open the Marble Open badminton tournament? Why not? So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.
We have the guest of honor for this evening, Sri Joseph Simi, Inspector Nagaland Police, uh, who is a very inspiring badminton player of Nagaland. And so I will be asking some question to him. Uh, sir, can you please tell us something about the struggle you had when you were, you were playing badminton? Uh, well, hello, Mr. Robert. Nice meeting you. And uh, thanks for this coverage. Uh, well, to see, well, to start with, uh, those days when we were kids, we had so much struggles buying even a racket. Those days, uh, Yonex was a top brand. So, buying, like I said uh, in my uh, speech before, buying Yonex racket was like uh, buying an aeroplane for us that time. So, and uh, moreover, being we were from not very uh, sound background financially, but we have to struggle so much. And those days, like we didn't have such kind of facilities which they have now. Yeah. Those uh, those days, so th there was no sponsors. I am so grateful to my father and especially my brother who had helped me uh, achieve thus far. Yeah. So, uh, during your days, like, were there stadium, enough stadiums to play? Uh, actually, uh, I was born and brought up in Toysang only. So, I started badminton at an early age of uh, 9 or 10. So, fortunately, we had one youth hall. Uh, the roof was very low. But then, uh, they have converted into a badminton hall. This was, that was just above my... Uh, house only so fortunately I got to play there so that is where I started then facilities so there there was not much of the facilities but once I started uh, participating in the, the districts and although uh, I used to get selected for the coaching camps so they used to call me to Kohima most of the most of my childhood I spent there in Kohima only with my coach and all so of course, there was mo not much of the facilities as of now. So, but 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 for that time though, I think uh, that was enough. But I think uh, if opportunity was being given, then uh, we would have been malab uh, somewhere, playing uh, outside our yeah, yeah. state. So that is how uh, we 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 came across. Yeah. Uh, so can you also tell us something about your achievements, big achievements that you have met so far? Uh, now though I am a 15 times state champion, then I got bronze medal in the All India Juniors. 15 times it's a double or single? It's a singles uh, title. Okay. So I was 15 times state singles champion and uh, doubles also uh, till last year. We, we were champion but we stopped playing so then uh, in the northeast also uh, 12 to 13 times I won in the singles category even in doubles also then uh, all India Krishna Ketan I got uh, this thing uh, bronze medal in the junior doubles category partnering with Anup Shridhar he, uh, he is an Indian player now running an academy he is a good friend of mine so we were together in the Prakash Pedagan Academy that time. So we played together in the junior uh, level. So it was uh, conducted in Chennai. So that is uh, there we got bronze medal. Then we we played uh, this uh, All India Masters League where I represented Hyderabad team. So we were the champion that time. Most importantly, I I attended the BWF level one coaching. Uh, uh, education level one uh, coaching camp there in Imphal. So uh, that is some of my achievement that I have uh, uh, achieved. You have lots of achievements. So so great to hear about that. So lastly, uh, one question for you: Like, please give us some tips, especially for the young players. Yeah, here uh, I just want to tell the young players who are planning to take up badminton or other sports sports being a very uh, demanding demanding game 
we need to focus a lot so for the youngsters please put your dedication determination and discipline if you have this three in you i think you are there so without this thing uh, i think it is uh, very difficult to achieve your goal so you have to set a goal aside you have to go set a goal then you have to why for the goal so for that you have to have discipline determination dedication those three these are very important in life so you have to do that and you have to literally sacrifice everything if you are to become someone in life so like i said set a goal you have to achieve that goal for that you have to put your determination dedication and discipline in the front and most of all put your god first without him you will be nowhere you will definitely be a successful person in life okay nice talking to you thank you thank you yeah. Forty plus category goes to Mr. Wobshay Sui and Mr. Shikato Jumo.